This is geometry. We're going to begin with chapter four, review. Then we'll go back to chapter three. So I'm on page 176. Chapter four was all about congruent polygons. Okay, let me back up a minute. The test is about the same length as your first test, okay? Nobody had struggled with timing, so it's gonna, it's gonna feel the same. There will be two proofs on the test. There actually are. Um, there will be some matching. There will be a couple of true-false and the rest will be problems. You have to know all the formulas that we've learned, all right? So I'm on page 176. <clears throat> so you have to understand congruent polygons. What are the three theorems for congruent polygons that we've learned so far? There's three of them. The first one is three, three letters. The first. A-S-A. A-S-A. What does A-S-A mean? Uh, side, angle, side. Well, you said A-S-A. -A. Oh, angle, side. <laughs> yes. Angle, side, angle. What has to be true about that side? It's the Karis. Opposite. It is not the opposite. It is what, Lydia? It's the included it's side. It's the included side. Has to be angle, included side, angle. All right, Mary Francis. what's another congruence theorem? SAS. SAS, and what is that? Side, angle, side. Angle, side. It has to be the included angle. And the last one is this, Lydia. S -S -S -S. Which is? Side, side, side. Okay, it's just all the sides, right? <laughs> yes. All the sides. After we prove that a triangle is congruent <clears throat> to another triangle, then what can we know about every part, every corresponding part of that triangle? That they're equal because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. That's correct. We can know corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. How, what is the strategy for working out a proof? What's the first thing you're going to do, Karis? Write all of your given statements. Write yeah. all of your given statements. Everybody. Write all of your given statements. Please write them. Everyone. And then what do I ask myself? What questions do I ask myself? Once I have the given statements. Can I do anything? Exactly. What can I do with what is given? What? Yes, David? You said last class sometimes in the givens there's something that like both of them can apply. You can know from the givens. There is something you can know from the givens. For example, what? Somebody give me an example. Um. Give me a given and then give me what you can know. David. Two angles on a line are supplementary, then even though that's given, you can know that they're going to be equal to 180. The sum of them, that's right. If it is given that angles are supplementary, then you can know that the sum of those two angles is 180 degrees. Yes. If you say, like, <clears throat> um, like line A bisects line, like, CB. Right. And that means um, it's. The two parts? In, two parts are equally cut in half. That's correct. When a line is bisected or a side is bisected, that side or that segment is divided into two equal parts. Exactly. <clears throat> What's another example? Uh, BD and AC are perpendicular. Okay. If I know that lines are perpendicular, then what can I know, Micah? That they are both, that both their angles are 90 degrees. No, 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 no. I can know that those perpendicular lines are linear pair. Mm. Vertical. Mm. Uh -oh. 
What do perpendicular lines form? Four. Four right angles. I can know that all the angles are right angles. Once I know that they're right angles, can I say that there are two equal angles? Why? Because. All right, say it. All right angles are equal. I never have to go to 90 degrees. If I tell you an angle is a right is 90 degrees, then what can you know about it? It's a right angle. That's right. What else example can you think of? I guess angle C equals angle O and angle R and angle R supplements of angle. Where are you? The 32 on. What page? You're on 155? Oh, okay. You can know the givens, right? What if I tell, yes, go ahead, Mary Francis. That's right. Two angles supplement to a single angle are equal. Two angles complementary to one angle are also equal. Angles in a linear pair equal, the sum of them has to be 180 degrees. All vertical angles are equal. If a, an angle is bisected, it divides the angle into two equal parts. Got it? That's what you're gonna do with the proof. You're gonna ask yourself, what can you know from the givens. What if both triangles have a part in common? Like AB. What am I going to say? Oh, AB equals AB. AB equals AB. Why? Reflexive. Reflexive, right? Angles one and two, they are? Mm. Why are they congruent? Why are angles one and two congruent? Because they're vertical angles and all vertical angles are equal. Got it? So you're gonna ask yourself, what can I know from the givens? And you're gonna mark your statements either with an S for a side or an A for an angle. You're gonna mark your triangles, right? Boom, boom. So that if I get to this point, right? If I get to this point and I have a side and an angle, I am looking for one of two statements to prove. Either these sides are equal or these angles are equal. If I have two sides, Let me just mark them, A, B, C, D, E, F. What do I need to prove that these are congruent? There's two options, angle a right? Angle A equals angle D or, uh, C, B. right, C, B equals F, E. Got it? I either wanna go side, angle, side, or I wanna go side, side, side. So pay attention as you're walking through the proof. You only have three options. It's either side, angle, side. So if you get a side and an angle, you're looking for a side. Are you looking for the angle, right? Watch and see what you need to prove. Ask yourself, what do I need to prove? And then look at your statements and say, 
Is there anything given that I can use to prove that? Angle, side, angle, or side, side, side. Those are your three options on the test. That's it. So as you walk through your proof, you're labeling your statements and you're labeling your images because there will always be an image. And then you can know, what do I need? Do I need another side? Do I need another angle? All right, so think logically as you work the proofs. We're going to work some um, today. Maybe. <clears throat> All right. You, you have to know the distance formula. What do we use the distance formula for? To find the distance between points. Okay. And sometimes it's called not distance, but Measure. length. Oh. Yes. It's called the length, right? The distance is sometimes called the length. You have to know that formula. All right. You have to know the names of the triangles. Triangles are named either by their sides or by their angles. By their sides, what are their names? Um, no, the name of a triangle based on their sides. Equilateral. Equilateral. Isosceles. Isosceles. Scalene. Scalene. By their angles, what are they called? Equilangular. Equilangular. Isosceles. What'd you say? Okay, it could be right triangle. Yeah. Obtuse. Obtuse. Obtuse or acute. Or acute. Yes. All right, you have to know that. If I have an <clears throat> isosceles triangle, what can I know? Yes? Two sides are equal. I can know two sides are equal. What else can I know? Yes? The side that runs from the smallest angle is the side that's not equal. Okay, if I have an equilateral triangle, I can know those two sides are equal, but wait, Michael, what else can I know? Beckett, actually, I haven't called on you. Beckett, what else can I know? I can know AC equals AB, but there's something else I can know, Beckett. Well, I don't know if A equals CB. I just know it's isosceles. I keep on, I want you to keep thinking, Beckett. I know some of you know it. I'm not going to ask you. So, AC and AB are longer than CB. Are longer than CB? I don't know that. I don't know how they're linked, but there is something else that I can know. angles have to be equal. Why, Hannah? You remember? When do we use corresponding parts of congruent triangles? Only after one triangle congruent to another. The next statement we're going to have corresponding parts. It's because when two sides of a triangle are equal, the angles opposite. opposite them are also equal. What if I know I have two equal angles? Then I know the sides opposite them are equal. Got it? Does that make sense? Are we together? Yes. Okay. Let's walk through number 48 on page 179. All right. We're going to walk through this proof. This is in your homework. So we're going to get this, the reasons why. All right. Page 179, number 48. It's the pool proof. I'll read it. In the figure below, 
a pool player wants to hit a ball at A so that it banks off the cushion at B and hits the ball at C. Point D is an imaginary point outside the table at which the player aims. So we're gonna give the reasons, all right? Here's given, A, B, D. Here's also given, D E equals E C, and D C is perpendicular to L. All right, so number one, Hannah, why can I say A, B, D? Given, that is correct. It is given. All right, Mary Frances. Why can I say AB plus BD equals AD? Because of what, Micah? Mm. There are a couple of words for this. Karis? Between the two points. Between, is that what you, that's what was, that's what you were going to say. Huh? It's between us of points. Got it? Between us of points. Y'all have to, we're not there yet. That's from chapter three. You have to know the between us of points theorem. You have to know it by memory and the between us of rays. All right. All right, back at number three. DE equals EC and DC is perpendicular to L. Why? Micah, can you help him for number three? Number three. DE equals EC and DC is perpendicular to L. <clears throat> go to Hannah. It's given. Don't miss those given statements. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not miss the given statements. All right, David, why can I say number four? Angles one and angle two are right angles. What? Yes. So, are there going to be proofs in which you have to write out all of them? All of them. Or are there, and are there going to be things in which you have to write the reasons given? Maybe both. Angle maybe I give you nothing, and maybe I give you something. Angle one and two are right angles because in the given, it tells us that uh, L, wait, yeah, L bisects DC. It does say L bisects DC? It, wait, 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 wait. Does it say L bisects DC? It's parallel, or no, it's perpendicular. It says L is perpendicular to DC. Does bisecting mean we have right angles? Pretty much, if L goes through the center of DC and goes to B, then it bisects a 100 degree angle. Okay, if I go through the center point of something, does that mean that we have right angles? If you go. Let's say that's the center. So see, I can think of something contradictory to what you just said. I am trying to make you think. If DC is 180 degrees and you bisect through the middle, then both of the angles are 90 degrees. But there's wait, 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 okay. This is right through the middle. I just said, that's the middle. That's the midpoint. But 
it goes it went, it goes through B, which is it. Okay, <laughs> we'll call this B. That's B. <laughs> we'll call this A D. It still goes through the middle. But it, it starts at the okay, if you draw the triangle and you have B at the top point, it goes straight through to L. It has Well, this is going straight through. Vertically. Vertically. That is a straight line. Um Okay. Okay. It's it has to go through vertically at the midpoint. Is, okay, is so I could have a vertical line. That's pretty vertical. Okay, what if this line, that's the midpoint, so that's B, and that's A, D. Did I just visually form is, is AD supposed to be horizontal? right angles well number four says angles one and two are right angles and they are because a 180 degree angle which is DC is bisecting so when I bisect a 180 degree angle we have right angles okay Bisect isn't just... Did we say the angle was bisected anywhere? DC, L is, per, is perpendicular to DC. Is that the same thing as bisecting? Is perpendicular the same thing as bisecting? No. It is not. Perpendicular is not the same as bisecting. What is, what is bisecting? Yes? You go straight through the middle of an angle or... No, no, no. Okay. Like from the yeah, yeah, yeah. Point, yeah. Straight through. If you cut it into two <laughs> parts. Right. That's bisecting. Yes. We, th there, there's nowhere given that these any angles have been bisected. So you cannot use bisected. Does everybody understand that? Yes. Because you're going to try to use things and, not, and I'm going to be like, well, that's not there anywhere. Bisecting is not given anywhere. Karis, why are angles one and two right angles? Because they're perpendicular. And so if they're perpendicular, then that means there are four right angles. Because perpendicular lines form four right angles angles that's all you can say got it would you also say that all right angles are equal i haven't said they're equal yet i just said one and two are right angles so we only have to justify why angles one and two are right angles got it yes now number five lydia t angle one equals angle two because they're both right angles okay but you got to tell me why are they equal We've not said anything about 90 degrees. Oh, never mind. Um, because perpendicular lines into four equals... We just said that for number four. We said both one and two are right angles. Now why can I say angles angle one equals angle two? Because right angles are 90 degrees. We're not saying either angle's 90 degrees, are we? Are we saying... We're not saying that. We're only saying they are equal. Okay, are y'all getting this? Like, you, you gotta get this. So, the other Lydia, what is it? All right angles are equal. That's it. All right angles are you equal. Were like right you there. were like right there. But do y'all understand the difference? You have to tell me why they are equal. So the word equal has to be in your justification. Make sense? You were so close. All right. Number six. So easy. Everybody, listen. Everybody's going to give me the answer. B-E equals B-E. Why? Reflexive. Thank you. It's reflexive. All right. I hope you've been taking. Josiah, have you been uh, marking that thing to know where we're at? 
Okay, we'll be thinking about it. Why is triangle DBE congruent to CBE? DBE congruent to CBE. You have a one in three chance of just guessing. Um, side angle side. It is side angle side. It is side angle side. All right? Now, we just said two, two triangles are congruent. Is everybody listening? Yes. Why can I say BD equals BC? Please, everybody, recite it. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. I am so proud of you. That is correct. I'm not going to say that for the next one. Okay, but I am always going to say that for the statement below those two, the congruence. Okay, now, <clears throat> now, everybody, Lily, you give me this one, number nine. Why can I say AB plus BC equals AD? It's substitution. They take the equation in number two. And instead of BD in number eight, they put in BC in number nine. Got it? They take eight and substitute it into number two to get number nine. Got it? Yes. Thank you. All right.